This is Lisa. She just lost everything to Hurricane Michael. Can you imagine how scary and helpless it could feel like to lose everything you own in just one day? Unfortunately, Lisa is not alone. Last year, U.S. was hit by four hurricanes. Millions of families are affected. To help people like Lisa, we created One Arc, a holistic solution for disaster relief. People rely on standard emergency services such as 911 and firefighters in a disaster. It's a closed system. When disaster actually hits, the emergency responders are swamped by requests, and many people just couldn't get any help. Our solution creates an open disaster relief system. We gather users' requests based on their locations and share this information with not only the organizations, but also with people nearby. With this application, users can report incidents around them and send out SOS requests. We also provide a community feature where people can ask for supplies and offer supplies to who are in need. Right now, instead of a single direction of the help request, we just expanded the emergency response circle to millions of more people and enabled more resources from the ground level. The emergency dashboard uh, can help the emergency managers to um, manage their resource distribution. They can track incidents as well as streamline their workflow. In a disaster setting, the data connection is often unstable. How we want to approach this is we are working on an SMS messaging bot, which functions with poor connection and also takes very little bandwidth. There are some con um, competitors currently in the market, but we have an advantage when it comes to the open system, disaster-focused network, as well as an offline solution. We are currently speaking with several different organizations. However, the highlight of our traction is our partnership with the state of Oklahoma. The Director of Emergency Management said that she sees huge potential with what we're doing and is extremely excited to work with us as we move forward. In 2019, we plan to white label our product and sell it to PNC insurance companies as an ecosystem service for their customers. We also plan to target government organizations, MGO, MGOs, and corporations. Our team is made up of very diverse people. We have developers, entrepreneurs, and a designer. However, we all share the same passion. We want to help people who are affected by natural disasters. At the moment, we have the technology we need, but we still need financing and more strategic partnerships. As a result, we're asking for $100,000 of investment to fund marketing, business development, and research. If you're interested in helping improve the disaster relief system, we would love to speak with you. Let's keep people safe together. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, living in Florida, I know exactly what that stuff's about. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you plan, or is there a way to triage um, kind of the importance of the different requests that come on the platform? And then how do you prevent people taking advantage and exploiting the platform? Uh, I think, well, this feature, we're still build, um, trying to build it, and, uh, but I think later on, we're going to add a system of uh, different requests that people can ask for, so we don't give them an open solution, that they would have to choose one of the t categories in order to move forward for the requests. We also are trying to implement a few different ways to make sure that people aren't taken advantage of. Some of those are user ratings. Um, the idea is uh, that would obviously be later on in development when we have more users on the app. Another idea is if you're reporting something, maybe you have to add a photo to prove that what you're reporting is actually there. Like if you say that there's food at a grocery store, we don't want people to swamp the store and then there's no food. So maybe you'd have to include a photo of like the inventory being distributed. I just want to say thank you for building this. This is great. That's all. Thank you. 